Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my five capos. Again, if I'm saying the name wrong, I'm sorry. Do not know how to say that name. Um, the Per ABS Liquid Version Two tutorial. Um, last episode we covered how to make um shields from armors and weapons from armors. Now, in this episode, we're going to cover how to make skills. And possibly, if we get the time, how to make armors. Again, if you can make items into weapons and you can make skills into weapons if you would like to. And you could also make um, items into shields and... Uh, actually, can you use items for shields? I don't think you could use items for shields, but I think you could use... Wait. I haven't actually tried that out, so if you, if anyone tried that out before, and if it works, leave a comment down below and tell me if it works or not. But I believe you can make skills and items into shields if you want. Although it wouldn't really, whatever, I'm pretty sure it kind of works. I'm not going to test it out right now, but yeah. What a blast, what's this, what a blast. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, this is from the other um battle system i had um starfire action battle yeah starfire action battle system so we are gonna go ahead and start with something simple um i'm actually just going to copy one of the things i've already made i'm gonna copy this item that i've made already so I'll just go ahead and copy this all the way and i'm gonna go ahead and paste this um before we actually continue i want to go ahead and check if if I have a certain graphics that I usually use for my stuff. So go to tutorial world, graphics, picture, is that pictures? No, that's particles, pictures, pictures. Um, Actually not in pictures, it's, it is in gra um, a character set, there we go. Um, I don't wanna go through all of this, so let's just make it extra large. <laughs> oh, I didn't copy it over. Um, screw it. We'll just use a fire one. So fire. Yep, we use that one. I was looking for the ice one, but so basically, um, I'm just going to set up this fireball um skill real quick. Just follow along. If you know how to make um weapons and skills, like the only thing you probably don't know at this point is how to make projectiles. And I'm going to definitely tell you how to make those projectiles. So right now I'm just making a simple skill, just changing the general settings. Um, damage element, I guess fire doesn't really matter. Quick formula, um, base value 15. I could have just typed that in myself, but doesn't really matter. One enemy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, is this, oh, this is item. I don't want an item. I want to, let me, oh, I can't actually copy and paste it over there. So, um, yeah. Why was I not paying attention to what this tab I was doing it in? Okay. Now we have to do this again. Fire. Blast. Damn it. This is why I waste time because, oh my, B-L-A-S-T. Okay, because this just don't want to comply with me. Um, One enemy, HP damage, 15, doesn't really matter. Again, element, fire, again, doesn't really matter. Just a personal thing that I, I like to do. Um, blah, 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 MP cost, um, zero because my character for some reason does not have any MP. Okay. Now we come over here to, um, the important parts. So user graphics, definitely want to set that to nil. User animation speed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that to zero and the cooldown. I'm going to make that, um, 10. Actually, let's also, do I want to make this zero? Hold on, let me see. It's about 30. Hmm. Hmm. Because if I made it zero, then it would be almost instant. Um, I know. I know what to do. I know a perfect number for this. Make this 15. Let's make this 15. 
Okay, the animation speed and the cooldown speed are in sync. Let's just go ahead and change this to fire because that will be the graphics that we want to use. Fire. Now, if you want to use your own projectiles, and when I say your own projectiles, I mean you want to use the icon for projectiles, all you will have to do is come here to the Fantastic Pro ABS patch and use this um, projectile tile set instead and use it for projectile tile set equals animated and put it um in the note tag instead of using the user icon set animated we will use a projectile one but i prefer using the projectile that's already there so i'm gonna not use that um so set it to fire tool size is one distance distance is basically what will um, enable your tools to actually move in tiles turning them into projectiles so if it's one then it's basically not a projectile so actually let's make this eight okay tool affect delay and that again i've already explained what these things do so go ahead and do that um casting animation might be something cool that we might do for this skill but we're not going to <laughs> Tool special, go ahead and change this to nail. Mm -hmm. Knockdown rate doesn't really matter. Item cost, okay. Okay. And that would be our scale. So who doesn't actually do anything in here? Ralph, what do you do? Doesn't really matter. Ooh. Um, I guess I'll make a signpost here. Signpost, same as insert, change skill. Actually, I think we can, since it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead and just make this guy come with with the skill. Not this level one. Fire Blast. Will it learn Fire Blast? And um, is time out. Um, go back to skill. Fire Blast is a uh, special. Let's make this into magic. Not that it really matters, but okay. Skill. Um, at um at skill type. Change this to magic. Okay. And I believe right off the bat, he should have, he should have the magic. Skate, actually, press E. Go to skills, fire blast, slot one. Ooh, what is going on here? Yeah. Script, 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 script. Okay, return if enemy shown to zero, not okay. Something is off with our skill. Oh, here it is. Um, fire blast. What did I change this to? Was it ten? I'll, I'll keep it at ten. Um, fire blast. Go down. Um, blah blah blah. To distance. Change this to eight. Did they not save all the other things I did? Who knows. Anyways, um, go back into here. New game, of course. Press E. Hopefully, we didn't do anything else wrong, and this should work. Hopefully. And as you can see, it is working. Um, it's throwing the boomerang because... Again, something weird happened and it didn't actually save um, the work that we did in the first place. So now I think I changed stuff over here. Yep, I changed stuff over here instead of I'm going to cut that out. Um, I was changing stuff over here and I wasn't actually changing it over here, which is a place that matters. So let's just go ahead and change this back to fire. Um, is there anything else that we need? I don't think so. 10 10. Okay, I'm gonna cut that part off from the video, so don't worry about it. Um, now when I press one, as you can see, fireball into a projectile that we can, of course, kill enemies with.
Yay, yay, die, 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 die. And we have killed it. If we gave it, um, if we wanted it to take away um skill points, my skill points is great out. That's yeah, that's because I don't have the so let's make it cost some skill MP points, magic points, or skill um whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um okay, let me actually just go ahead and see something real quick. In my graphics, oh yeah, graphics, pictures, 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 yeah. So I have this, I have this, I have that. I don't have the enemy one. You know what, what I think it is? AMP, 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 tool database, check out our time, 10 minutes, okay, we have time. Um, no, go to skill. I mean, scripts, not tool. Go to life bars. A and P. Here it is. A and P. Um, actor's experience. I never actually ever used that actor's experience then. Um, I actually forgot that it was, uh, that it's one of the options that you actually get. Doesn't really matter. Um, again, my spin is edited to take away some of the stuff from the HUD, so you don't need, really need to worry about the experience, because that's not what we're covering here. But there used to be an experience bar right under the, right under the magic, I believe. So, it, it is going pretty fast. You could nerf it and make it go slower if you like, or make it go really, really fast. But... That's basically how you make skills and projectiles. Again, if I just go ahead and copied all, actually, let me copy everything, everything. But actually, first of all, let let's go ahead and go into weapons, and we're going to copy this item, and we're going to paste it here. Keep in mind, we are creating a sword. We are creating a sword and not a skill. Make that up. You're creating an item. I mean a sword or a weapon and not a skill. If we just went ahead and copied all this thing down, go ahead and copy it down. Then we went back into weapons and we copied. I'm not going to replace this first one because I still wanted to use that sword animation up there. And we just went ahead and replaced all these other things. Okay. And as you can see, we now have a sword that shoots fireballs why is not affecting the enemy i don't know but i'm gonna guess it's because it doesn't have any attack i like to waste time on my videos you could end this right now if you want, because I'm not going to be doing anything important. Still not attacking. Anyways, before I waste too much time, thank you guys again for watching. The next episode, I'm going to go kind of, but not in depth on items. I mean, you guys already will know how to use items if you've learned how to use the skills, the armors, and the uh, weapons. But I'm going to go over items anyways, and the specials that involve items. Um, again, I'm going to be making a future episode that covers how to do advanced stuff like making skills fire in octagon form, although that's actually not octagon. Um, hmm. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to like this video. And if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave your comments down below to let me know. Once again, thank you.